Good afternoon. We're going to start business today uh, with Time for Reflection, and our Time for Reflection leader is Father Liam McMahon, parish priest at St Michael's in Glasgow. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity to address you today here in this Parliament. As I drove here this morning from my parish in the East End of Glasgow, I reflected that in here and out there are two very different kingdoms. This chamber and the gifted people who inhabit it create a place of powerful possibility, an engine which bridges the gap between those two kingdoms. It would be a missed opportunity to fall into one of two possible extremes either so mired in the difficulties of people's lives that we fail to examine possibilities that others bring to this chamber or to become absorbed in the art of bureaucracy and forget that if it fails in its purpose to change lives, then it's useless. I would humbly suggest that a middle way needs to be maintained and underline the inspiring example that you can show to society. So what, what values can we agree to hold in common? I would like to suggest listening with an open heart. Pope Francis has said, political engagement is one of the highest expressions of charity. But in order to learn from someone else, we must be willing to listen whatever their background, belief, or political outlook. If we have condemned them in our hearts before they have opened their mouths, then we both instantly lose. All of us need to insist on a respect for the other, because then that powerful possibility is instantly recovered. We need to rediscover the gift of listening with a sincerely open heart. St. Paul's description of every individual believer as a necessary part of the whole body is helpful. The foot is completely different to the ear, as we might be from a political opponent. And yet, for the body to be able to work, there needs to be some fundamental unity between those parts, no matter how different. Collective progress must be based on fundamental respect and acceptance that the other is just as necessary a part of this society as I am. Together we must find some way to coordinate our beliefs and not silence anyone who is different from me. I would encourage you to remember that in your work you are called to something inspirational and can truly be a light in the darkness of the struggles of people's lives. I would encourage you to listen to others, especially when their politics are at odds with yours. Take your responsibility with hope and courage, but also gentleness since you hold the future of many in your hands. I commend to you the gift of listening with open hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.